the the good news is that's exactly what they did. They they listened to the science. They sort of sorted out uh, what they could really trust versus what uh, they they couldn't um, uh, put much faith in. And and at the end of the day, um, the evidence in support of uh, of of Lee Johnson in 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 his um, you know uh, incredible uh, battle against this uh, you know very big company uh, the the science went one hour at the end of the day and I, I it's a real tribute to the the uh, the court system that it provided a venue where uh, all of all of Monsanto's access to scientists and their ability to to spin science it. Um, it just didn't cut it in that courtroom in San Francisco. Didn't they suppress a lot of evidence as as part of the the defendant's uh, strategy? Um, there, yes, throughout the throughout the uh, month long trial, the Monsanto attorneys were constantly objecting to. Uh, the placing into evidence of mostly um, internal Monsanto emails that um, the judge considered to be uh, so highly charged or presidential against uh, Monsanto that the, the judge would not allow the jury to, to see the documents. And this, um, Wow. This led to great frustration for Lee Johnson's <laughs> attorneys because they, they sort of felt like they had one hand tied behind their back. So if they would have actually been able to see that other suppressed information, what kind of what kind of stuff was in there? I mean, were they were they like really talking some some bad conspiracy type things, lying to the public, that kind of thing? Um well, there were there were really three there were three or four things that the the judge was extremely insistent to the attorneys on both sides that you you, you just can't let any of your witnesses talk about. One was the Proposition 65 lawsuit in, involving the listing of glyphosate on Prop 65. As you know, that that uh, appeal was going on right at the same time as the Lee Johnson trial in San Francisco. The judge said, no one can talk about that. You cannot breathe the, the words Prop 65. So, you know, everyone uh, uh, followed that. The judge also said that no one can talk about GMOs or the uh, impact of genetically engineered crops on glyphosate use. Uh, that was uh, uh, the judge deemed that and a not relevant um, topic to present to the jury so there was no no discussion so when i was during my direct testimony when when i was walking the jury through the increase in roundup use starting in 1996 i couldn't use the words because roundup was used on genetically engineered crops i i couldn't say that but i just said corn and soybean and cotton farmers used a lot more roundup okay okay <laughs> that, that's that's what I, I was allowed to say. The, um, the, the judge also uh, prohibited any of the, the expert witnesses for, for Lee Johnson. Uh, we, we were unable to discuss many internal Monsanto emails where they were discussing amongst themselves how to deal with new science, including sometimes studies that Monsanto itself had commissioned uh, new science that um, um, suggested that the, the risk associated with it, uh, exposure to Roundup was actually higher than what uh, uh, Monsanto had known from its past work and, and what, uh, higher than what uh, the EPA uh, uh, thought to be the case based on their, their current risk assessments. This, uh, so the, the jury heard just a little bit about the, uh, the degree to which Monsanto over the years was, uh, let's just say, less than forthcoming with the EPA regarding what it knew uh, about the uh, toxicity and risks associated with Roundup.